If you haven't been living under a rock like the silly little Homo floresiensis I know you are, you might have heard about the Bisecti giant dromaeosaur around 2023, but what the actual hell happened with it? And what even was it? Well strap on as today we are exploring this peculiar raptor's history. So if you've been part of the paleo community around 2023 paleontologists in the Bisecti geological formation of Uzbekistan, announced they had discovered some bones that kind of resembled the bones of dromaeosaurids, the dinosaurs referred to as raptors by pop culture contrary to popular belief, these dinosaurs were feathered and usually small, with three exceptions to this last rule, Utah raptor, Dakota raptor, who might possibly be chimeric, and Achillobator, this Uzbekistanese raptor, would be the fourth exception, being around the same size if not being larger than Utah raptor, and then everybody started going crazy for this astonishing discovery. This raptor was a titan. However this formation had more surprises up its sleeves. The Bitseki formation was incredible diverse, having this supposed raptor, Uteranosaurs like Trimerlurgia, Asdarsho, a medium-sized pterosaur that would have its relatives give rise to the formidable Quetzalcoatlus, Hatsigopteryx, and Thanatos Dracon, and many other unique creatures, as well as Ulhugbegsaurus, one of the last Carcharodontosaurids, a relic of its time. And yet, the undisputable apex predator of this region, sharing this place with the Bitseki giant raptor. But, when scientists properly analyzed the bones of the Bitseki giant, they came to a conclusion. This thing was no dromaeosaur, and actually represented the bones of the formidable Ulhugbegsaurus. In my view, this makes the discovery even more fascinating, as Ulugbegsaurus represents a rare example of a very late surviving Carcharodontosaurid, rather than simply being another oversized raptor. But what are your thoughts? Do you believe the Bisecti giant could have been its own distinct genus after all, or was it simply another clue in the decline of allosauroids during the Cretaceous? Let me know your opinion, or you're going bald going bald.